Hi everyone and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today is Sunday, June the 19th of 2022. It is Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to any of you dads out there. I know it's actually Monday when you're seeing this, so it's not even Father's Day, but a late happy Father's Day to you guys. Um, I'm here with another day of Woon. Just going to take you guys along for the day and everything that goes down. So yeah, um, I'm not exactly sure what's all in store for today. So it's kind of going to be a winging it day. I know we're going to church this morning. I have to go to Target for my video, and I know my dad requested to go play mini golf, and I know my grandpa really loves that too, so we're going to end up taking them there later today. Um, I'm sure we'll go take them out to eat at some point. I don't know exactly what's going to be going down today, but I'm just going to take you guys along for the ride. So I will just catch up with you guys when we do something interesting.
guys. Um, it is now 8.47 p.m. I hope you enjoyed that little montage of the day's events. Definitely been a busy, busy day. Um, but we went to play mini golf, and that was fun. I lost. Um, but actually, it is an improvement on the first nine holes. So that we called the front nine. I'm not a sports expert here. I think it's called the front nine and the back nine. Um, or maybe that's just regular golf. But on the first nine holes, I actually was in the lead, which is crazy because that, like, never happens. Um, but I ended up losing on the last nine holes. So it's a bit of a bust. But, hey, I'll take that small victory in the beginning. And so my dad, I believe, came in first. That tends to always happen. I believe it was my dad. And then my grandpa, then me, then my mom. I don't know on the exacts. It was actually a pretty close game, so that was good. And then we went to Adernetto's. I had not been to Adernetto's in a long time, like eight inside. We've done takeout some. It's a very big deal around here. If you're from this area, you know it's like a very big deal. Um, their slogan is the pizza people come home for. It actually draws in a lot of people, especially people who have like moved away. Whenever they come back, they get Adernetto's pizza. So next time Katie and Derek come back, they're going to have to get Adernetto's because like that's the thing. But um, I haven't been there in so long. And so we went there and I'm actually really glad we did. The inside environment of that place is really, really cool. Like I showed you guys what I could um, of like the tree inside and the like down area with the pillars and things. It's a really cool restaurant and it's delicious. The, the pizza it really is amazing the salad the salad is like they dump a whole bag of mozzarella cheese on it i'm not even joking there's so much cheese on their salad but it was really good um no regrets that was awesome um and then like i said we went to church this morning and they were giving out these free flashlights to all of the guys over 18 which was cool it went along with our pastor's message today. Um, so that was really cool. And they actually gave out free cookies, but I forgot to get my cookie, which sucked. It was nice. They included the guys in it. If you're 18 or above, you could get the, you know, the, the flashlight that just gave it to me as we were walking in. The greeter did, and then the cookie was for us too. But so it was nice they included the guys, even if you weren't a dad. So that was cool. But I forgot the cookie, so... Yeah, stupid me. <laughs> I'm going to Target to do my video, so I filmed everything for that. I actually got to finish editing and uploading that, so I better kind of move on. Um, and then I did grocery shopping for the week. So I actually was able to grab all my groceries at Target, which was weird, because I usually, I usually go to a couple different stores, but thankfully we didn't need much. Just pretty much perishable things. A couple non-perishables, but mostly like bread and produce and meat. And I was just able to grab that at Target because the prices were pretty fair. So I went ahead and did that. It was nice getting that out the way and over with. So I don't have to go grocery shopping tomorrow. And tomorrow is actually my grandpa's birthday. So um, that'll make it nice. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, but I know we are going to get him his favorite food, which his favorite restaurant of all time, if you can believe, is KFC. That's his favorite place ever. So hey, that's what he likes. We're going to pick that up. And then I do have a gift card that one of you guys sent me at Christmas for Dairy Queen. So I'm going to go get an ice cream cake with that. So that'll be cool. Um, and then I did get him a couple little presents. So I'll show you guys that tomorrow. Um, it's always weird. You get him the, give him the gift for Father's Day for his birthday. But I figured I'd save it for his birthday. So he had something to open. Now I did give my dad a couple things. Um, I will pop up a picture of that. Um, I got him a set of golf pins. I showed you guys that from TJ Maxx. And then I also got him some chocolate covered almonds. I didn't get him anything big because at Ollie's a couple weeks ago, I vlogged when we went out of town to St. Clairsville. The Ollie's there had a bunch of Bibles and he got like so excited and he was going to put one back because he's like, well, I better not spend this money on it. And then I was like, well, if you really want it, I'll just get it for you for Father's Day and you can have it early. And so that made him happy and that took care of that. He is so hard to buy for for Father's Day in any event, really. He's so hard to pick out stuff for. Um, I end up thinking I'm getting him something and then it's not really something he wants. And I'd rather just not waste my money and actually get him something he wants. And so he picked it out. He took it early, whatever. So he picked out a Bible and some other book at Ollie's and that was his gift. I just found those golf pins. Thought, well, he might like that. And I know he'd like the chocolate covered almonds. So that's what I got him. Um, and that was cool. So yeah, that is the Father's Day festivities um, that have gone down today to share with you guys so it was a pretty eventful day i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty exhausted right now so i am ready to get this target video up get this vlog up and just go relax for a little bit before bed um and so yeah that's pretty sweet but 
Anyway, guys, um, happy Father's Day to you. If there are any dads watching this, let me know down below. I'd be interested. I know the bulk of you guys are women, but there are some men who watch. So if you are a man, and especially if you're a father, comment and let me know. I'd be interested to see if there are any dads watching this vlog. Happy Father's Day to my dad and my grandpa. I am so thankful for both of them in my life. Um, even though, like, sometimes my dad may try to get on my nerves <laughs> sometimes purposely and I know I get on his nerves um I am so thankful for him and definitely um he has been a support in my life for sure um hard worker he's always worked so hard to provide for our family and he keeps us laughing definitely keeps us laughing um all the time and definitely you put up with a lot for me as your son, and I am very thankful for you. And I know I don't say it enough, but I love you, and I am thankful for everything you are in my life and for all you've done for me. And so definitely um, thank you so much for that. So anyway, guys, um, that is all I got for today's video. I really hope you did enjoy this, and thank you so, so much for watching.